I suppose uh, the kind of simplification we can find in title like uh, a lot less that of bound combos and um, some kind of visual help for new players to discern what the important moves are, for example, is, uh, is a pur was on purpose for this public to, to find a new public for the for the title. It's quite refreshing to have a question like that at uh, Japan X, but you're the first who's actually uh, asked us an in-depth question that shows that you actually play the game and, and know what it's about. So uh, it's exactly as you, you say. Um, you know, Tekken is, uh, there's a lot of freedom in gameplay. Uh, you have so many choices of things yeah. you can do and such. Um, so we wanted to, not to get rid of that, but to, to have it as it is, but uh, to make it more easy or uh, more comprehensible to uh, beginners by uh, picking up the certain techniques that are the most effective and you want to use when you're fighting against other players uh, as your offensive tools, you know. Uh, and it, it looks like that uh, paid off, that our, our design that we took with that actually uh, did as we, it performed as we had hoped and uh, brought in a lot of, uh, attracted a lot of new people to the series. Like, Tekken is always played like the newest installment of the game is played competitively, but I, I had a feeling like back as I was playing like Street Fighter or Tur Turbo, you know, or an old school title I haven't played in years in fact and I was very pleased because I'm, I, un I enjoy a lot this kind of direct and very speed matches and is that that, that was the purpose to go back to the roots or mm -hmm. uh, yeah I guess because you're self familiar with fighting games it's uh, easy for you to recognize that but uh, it, it was one of the uh, things we wanted to achieve that um, to go back that uh, there was a certain type of enjoyment that you kind of mentioned where uh, just the playing with your friends and, and the way as you said the, the health depletes or, or just someone winning in a certain method at that timing or such is something that was quite enjoyable and also because of, there's no bound now it's uh, the time you're in the air is shorter so you have more strategy back and forth of on the ground and, and that, that is kind of more increased I think so I would uh, one thing I was uh, surprised about is the the move that uh, have special effects on them uh, have a rate, uh, a chance of doing more damage. Critical. And I was, I'm not the kind of guy that likes that a lot, but I I enjoy it a bit too. So because I like, uh, you know, when when it's unfair, I, I find it's, it's very good. I think no, no game. Is fun by being fair, in fact. So I was surprised because the the Sukaiber team did something like that with the um, with the clean hit in the uh, in Sukaiber five. And uh, is that a special Namco a Namco specialty to add a critical damage and all? Uh, because it seems unfair and unskilled and a bit of chance. So what is the balance between being fair and being unfair but fun? Yeah, it, it's like you said, uh, because with fighting games, um, a lot of times people are talking about counting the frames and that kind of uh, fair parts as you mentioned. Um, but there's a certain amount of enjoyment that comes from the game that can't really be uh, calculated from that. Uh, for example, like uh, you were saying how when uh, there's a portion of the game when you don't expect something to happen, like uh, you expect that you might uh, do this and your opponent will uh, get hit and this will happen, but maybe uh, the damage is more than you expected or maybe it didn't go as you planned and your opponent uh, actually started to uh, you know, counterattack at a weird timing and, and you got hit or such, but those kind of things that don't go as you thought they might is actually what's part of the fun of the fight. <laughs> especially from uh, in the past and so to try to include part of that and, and to uh, make that more prevalent in this game was uh, a design decision. So I, I guess if you compare it to chess, like uh, you know chess is very calculated, the rules are very defined so that uh, if you're playing against someone who's better than you, you don't really have much chance to, to win and you can already kind of guess what the outcome is going to be from the start, which you know isn't maybe that fun for a game. Uh, where it, 
that uh, you know life in general tends to be like that a lot of times and if like if someone's much uh, bigger and stronger than you and you get in a fist fight and you know you can't win then you'll just uh, give up right away so there's no need to bring those kind of rules into games because games are supposed to be fun and enjoyable so uh, that's one of the reasons for, for doing it that way the one thing I didn't like in Revolution is uh, is the stats system like mm -hmm. you can buff your character mm -hmm. because at first I was like oh, okay maybe why not you know and after that I have the feeling I was um, in, in kind of uh, shonen uh, rule like you you start low and then uh, you beat someone and there's a bigger an opponent who came who comes so you have to become uh, bigger yourself, and it's a never-ending story. So I understand it's an uh, intelligent decision, as it's you know it's grinding. It's like in uh, in MMO in things like that, but <sighs> <laughs> that was so unfair sometimes. But you know, it's something that uh, he still thinks is is uh, very good idea because uh, right now looking at the feedback from the player base the people who've actually played the game it, it's quite divided some people really love that system and, and some not so much so the option to turn that off will be added in player match but as far as rank match goes uh, it is part of the fun of you know deciding the strategy of how you want to evolve your character and uh, it, you know rank match is just to, to see who is the strongest so, so. あ、ね、ランクマッチあえてステータス1個もフラなんかでランクマッチものすごい頑張っているんだよ。なんかもう腕だけで逆にあれがなんか本人に聞くとどうやらそれそれが面白いらしくてそれがだからあのステータスするの
not choppy per se, but kind of you know very like that. So uh, the having the the you know just taking the the character as it is with that animation and then applying it to tech in maybe it won't feel so good for everyone. So uh, because the three D fighters, you know, it's a very smooth animation. Yeah. In tech in uh, especially. Right. So uh, trying to have the control system that feels good for both uh, types of players. Is something that's maybe perhaps quite difficult, uh, and that's uh, the current topic that he's working on to, to try to uh, figure out. Okay. Well, I suppose that's the end. Okay. Thank you, as always. <laughs> it's a pleasure. He he's, he's never pierced anything before. Yeah. Didn't that hurt a lot? Um, first, it's hurting, but it's not very. Uh, it's not odd because. They take a needle and uh, there's a, you know.